Hunter Collector here with another video. Before the video starts, I want to let you guys know to make sure you hit that subscribe and notification button. It really helps out showing the support for the channel. I do a bunch of other stuff besides gaming. I do drawing, building, collecting, uh, workouts, cooking, um, and then a bunch of other cool stuff with my friends. Um, and if you want to, me to put, be posting more videos each day, make sure you hit that subscribe button and let me know. Uh, but besides that, let's get right into the video. All right, hello everyone. This is Dante Collector here with another uh, Marvel Legends review. Right here, I have Marvel Legends Apocalypse, um, and I got this one mainly because I don't have the build a figure, and the build a figure is a shitload of money. Sorry, my language, but uh, it's a crap load of money for me, so I can't really. Uh, get that but this is nice it's a little different obviously I wish I had the other one for a comparison but I don't so we will not have a comparison I might do one if I end up having the chance to make the other one but I'm not sure if I'll have the chance to but here's the front for you here's the side art of apocalypse there here's the back if you want to pause and read that you can here's the top with the X-Men Age of the Apocalypse series logo. And then here's the bottom with the DCBI. But besides that, let's crack this thing open. All right, here's Apocalypse out of the packaging. So he has some accessories here. So he has an extra head here. Looking very serious or pissed off right here. Looks good. Just looks just like that one up there. I'll go over the face stuff here in a bit. He has one extra hand and that's for this hand. Uh, it's a fist hand, so I think we've seen this hand before. I don't remember from who, though. I, I, I know we've seen this hand before, though. Uh, and then he has a skull here, so that's pretty cool. And you cannot put it on any other figure because it doesn't have that ball joint port there. So, and, oh. That's mainly for display for him to hold it, like that kind of, but yeah, just like that kind of, gotta get it balanced, yeah, there we go, and then he has this cape here, which I will show you how to put that on after I go over Apocalypse first, so here's Apocalypse here, and yeah, oh, and yes, it's a Build-A-Figure, so if it does that, you can put it back together, just like that. Um, so this one, he has his face, he looks like he's laughing or smiling, whatever. He has this nice blue, it's, look, it's basically Apocalypse face. This is a little bit of a different looking Apocalypse than I'm used to seeing because of the dark blues. But this one has a lighter blue, so I'm not sure how I feel about that one. Um, he has these shoulder pads here. He has his red collar, uh, soft plastic. This is too. Uh, so I wonder if you could probably, if you pop off the head, actually, if I can. Um, yeah, you can take off, take that off if you want, just like this. It has a rubber band for whenever you had it in. And these, I think you can also pull out, no? Yeah, you can, but it just looks weird because you have that gap right there. So I'm going to keep mine in there. But then you can also just put this back on, but it looks a little weird, so I'm just gonna keep this on him. And it has those ports, so you just put it, put it back in, just like that. And I'm gonna have him with a serious face because I'm used to seeing pissed off. Oh, there we go, pops right in. Um, but yeah, you get a little bit of a darker blue on the shoulder. It doesn't look like that in the uh, in the video, but. You can tell there's a little bit of a difference for the shoulder pads and the yeah, rest of the body here. Um, but for me, uh, in person, it looks more like a, what is it? Like a blue green type of feel, like an ocean blue uh, body. And this is like a, just a regular blue. So, I mean, it looks a little weird for me. Uh, and you get these red gauntlets here with the yellow thing there. And I think, yeah, that's soft plastic and they're not separate pieces they're glued on there and then um it's a very shiny looking body so 
Um, you get this blue paint here. It's not texturized or anything like that. Same deal here. You get these little rectangles. The boots look good. I mean, red too. And then you get this slight, like, right, ugh, gray striped thing here for his boots. Um, but yeah. And then I don't know where. I, I know I've seen this hand before. I just don't remember. I think it's. Which one is it? Yeah, I can't think of it right now, but. Uh, we've seen, I, I've seen these hands before. I just don't know where. Um, but besides that, let's go over his articulation. I might actually have to take off. Well, I guess we'll we'll keep that on for whoever wants to see this. But So his head can move down that far. You can move up that far. You get side to side motion. It's a little hard to do that with this, but if you, you could take that off and do whatever. Uh, no head pivot. His shoulders can, yeah, that's a problem. If you, uh, you can just adjust it if you want. <clears throat> but you get him to go past 90 degrees, I think. Mine's just stiff, so I don't want to break it or anything like that. He's got bicep swivel, single-jointed single elbows, so you can't even get it past 90 degrees there. His wrists can hinge down that far for this hand. I'll go over the other one here in a second. Uh, up that far. And then the other one, I think it's the same deal. You can't really do much with it. Does he even have hinges? Yeah, it does. Uh, it's just gauntlets are getting in the way. And then you get 360 rotation, obviously. Uh, he has an ab crunch, so you get him to go down that far. Pretty good. Backwards quite a lot. He has a waist swivel, so you get him to go 360, and that thing just popped out. Um, his legs can kick out that far, forward that far, backwards a bit. He has a thigh cut, double jointed knees. There we go. He has a boot cut there. His ankles can hinge down a lot. Up, and eh, not so much, and he has an ankle pivot. And then for the cape, um, so he has, this cape here has these two ports here, just like that, and there's these holes here for the pads. So I believe you just port them in just like that. And then the other one, if I can find it, there it is. That one's going to be a little bit of a difficult one because it's curved. And then there. It looks a little weird because it's black cape with bright colors. So it looks a little weird for me. Like if you get him to look behind, this is a black cape. So it looks a little weird to me. I don't know if they did a really good color choice for Apocalypse here. So I don't know. Um, But... I mean, he's pretty cool. He's different, but I mean, it's not the apocalypse that I would think they would should have done. But it's okay. Uh, but uh, the only problems with that I have with him is the color choice, which I just told you. And then uh, the shoulder keeps popping out, but I think that's just my figure thing. It might be with others, mainly, but it's not a big deal for me because it's a build a figure. Um, and then, um, the cape kind of throws me off. It's the same deal with the color choice, really, but, uh, and then the shoulders don't even get to 90 degrees, not even close. So, uh, and that's really all the problems that I have with this figure. Um, but, yeah, that's all I've got. So, I hope you liked the video. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you check out my buddy's Instagram page at Highlight Photos. He does really cool photos. Also, my two best friends that I usually play Call of Duty with, sometimes with other games. They have card pages. Christian's card page is Bad Buke 767. Uh, Connor's card page, well, he doesn't really have one at the moment. His Jeep's gone. He has a new car. I will update it when he like decides to put up an Instagram page for it. Um, to uh, sending, donating to my PayPal, it's supposed to help me out with getting get me being able to do that and I'll also get more games uh to do reactions to I want to get the PS5 uh I'll do a review on it and then also the games for it um more camera better camera equipment uh and a few other things to help make the views a little bit better and then uh, I will try putting up my own merch store at some point. I just need time to do it. I'm in the middle of baseball right now. I will figure out some way to do it. I do not have a laptop myself. 
at the moment. So if you guys could help me out by donating to my PayPal, it would be really awesome. But besides that, um, if you really enjoy my nerdy, funny, gaming, uh, workout, uh, sports videos, other stuff like that, uh, make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.